Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another side quest video. And this video, we're going to be checking out the latest update, which is 0.6.0. And with it comes five pretty significant updates and a sixth one, which is coming in the next few days. So we're going to go, go through each of those new changes, those new features, kind of show you what they are and how you enable them and what you do with them. But if you kind of want to just skip ahead, I'll tell you what they are now. You just need to go on, download the latest version of side quest yourself now, and you'll get all these new features. So the first one is Sabre Sync, which allows you to automatically sync the top 30, the top 20, the top 50 songs or tracks for your Beat Saber on your Oculus Quest with the beastsaber.com website. So you can put your own account in there. You can automatically pull through your playlists and stuff that you create on there. So you can do it all on beastsaber.com and then just use Beat On to automatically pull those tracks for you down to your headset. So it's pretty cool. So we'll check that out. Number two is a mods tab within SideQuest itself for Beat On. So where Beaton allowed you to drag zip files into SideQuest to install those mods, so like customized sabers or backgrounds or floor panels or whatever, it's now all built in and you can just literally click and install without having to go to a different website to drag those in to install them. You can still do that if you want to, but now you can automate the process and it's all part of SideQuest, which is quite good. Thirdly is the new layout and information for all the different apps and experiences that you can sideload. So sideloading allows you to add new apps and experiences to your headset that aren't available on the Oculus Store. Uh, and now the new layout gives you a bit more information about what they are, how they work, and gives those people that submit them more scope to add more information so you're better informed before you download the, them and try them. Fourth, if you're a developer, an app developer, or an experienced developer, something that maybe has not been able to get onto the Oculus Quest or you develop any add-ons or modifications for Beaton, there's now a process to be able to submit those to SideQuest to get them sort of added officially. So I'll go through that in later in the video, but there's just a website that you go to, you log in and then you sort of enter all your details, put a link to it and there you go. They'll, they'll review it, make sure the link works and pretty much put it live. So that's pretty cool. The fifth update is to virtual desktops. So virtual desktops get an update as of today. It's going to add a sort of rumble support, so a haptic feedback support for controllers for when you're playing Steam VR games and that sort of thing. Whereas at the moment it doesn't carry across that sort of vibrating function into the controls. It will do as of today. And there's also some um, sort of uh, emulation of the D-pad and the start button, which will help you sort of play certain games and certain apps uh, and sort of replicate that that, so it makes it easier to control. And the sixth update that's coming later in the week is all these obviously the side loaded apps you put on your headset, uh, you may lose track on whether you've got the latest version or not. So they're gonna put a feature in that checks your headset for updates and then automatically downloads the latest version of each of them. That makes it a bit more streamlined so you don't have to kind of keep manual check on your apps and experiences. Just reconnect it to side quest and it'll do the check-in for you and you can install all the updates straight away. But if you want more information, stay tuned. We'll check out all those features one by one. Right, so let's check out these new features. First thing you want to do is connect your Oculus Quest to your PC. I use these magnetic cables which give me a lot of sort of uh, scope and kind of ease of use to just whip it off whenever I want to. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh, but then from this main menu, let's check out. So first thing you want to do is obviously check that you've got the latest version of SideQuest. So what you can do is go into what is SideQuest in the middle here. Then scroll down a little bit and it'll have all the latest versions here. Or you can go to sidequest.remarkus.com or the link down below and grab the latest version from the GitHub page. Just download it and update it. Uh, you'll probably get a message up the top as well that still says the latest version is available anyway. So you can click that as well if you wanted to. But once you've got it, you're in here. So what did we say? The first thing was uh, Sync Saber. So if you've got Beat On already set up, you should have a button at the top right hand corner. If you've not set up Beat On or SideQuest before, I'll leave links to those videos down below. But in here, you've got a Sync save a tab now and you can kind of see you can go in here and sync your tracks from beastsaber.com so if you go to beastsaber.com that's where you can download all the tracks that's how you get some of the tracks onto your oculus quest uh, but you can actually go on and create yourself an account add all your different sort of songs that you want on there and as you can kind of see on the right hand side here if you follow certain tracks you can sync them so you can just toggle that on and it automatically includes those in your headset and it creates an album for them as well so that's, that's quite convenient uh, your bookmarks your authors you can add different authors so if there's somebody who makes lots of good tracks that you like you can add their name in here um, and if you add your name your username in here obviously that's how it knows that it's you 
and what your account is and that sort of thing, all your details. But you can even sort of download some sort of the generic stuff, the sort of the, the top 10 or 30 or 50 or whatever, hot ones, latest ones, uh, songs by download, whatever. Um, or some sort of challenging ones that you've got here. So you can kind of choose how many of those are. So rather than going in and ticking them all and downloading them all, just tick them here and then, or then just sync them to your Beat Saber, or st click Start Sync here even on the right hand side, and then sync it to your Beat Saber on your headset and you're sorted. That's a pretty cool feature. The next thing that's been added is this Mods tab on the left hand side. So click on that and here you can see now, rather than going to sort of a GitHub page or whatever, getting those zip files and then dragging them in into uh, Beaton, you can now get them automatically here. Now you can still go and get any ones from any sort of GitHub and drag them in if you want to. That still works, but this makes it just a little bit easier. They're all in here for you. So if you do have beat on, you can update it here. You just click on more information and you can sort of, oh, that's my video there. You can just install it or uninstall it or install the latest version here sort of thing. So if there's any new features or you get any issues with Beaton, make sure you in include the latest one. And then as you can see, as you scroll down, you've got blue walls, you've got different sabers, you've got <laughs> Facebook sucks, uh, you've got sort of fire trails, green walls, all sorts of sort of different platforms. You've got different signs you can have up the top. So you go, you can sort of add in some Mario stuff and change the notes to look like coins that actually make coin noises. When you do them, you can click uh, load more. So all you do on any of these is just click more information and install the latest version. And there you go. You sort of uh, had them into your beat on. So as I say, you do need beat on setup already. So make sure you go through the beat on setup. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll leave the links down below to that. But it's cool that all this is in here now. And that's actually a way that people can submit their sort of changes and their mods uh, to this service. And we'll touch on that in a second. And the next change obviously is the changes to these kind of mods pages and the app pages is there's now a lot more information. So they're adding tags, they can sort of add a description, they can add sort of social posts later version how much it costs maybe sort of people will be asking for donations for certain things and it's all in here so you can kind of get a bit more information on all the different apps and experiences and modifications in here and that's built into the submission process as well and more information is great more information so if we click back on the main page here you can see there now is a sign in option so you can sign in and create an account if you haven't created an account before you just need to click on sign up enter all your details here the NBA to submit apps and experiences that you you've created or developers have created uh, to SideQuest easily and that also goes for mods so if you make any mods for beat on so sort of any new sabers or platforms or whatever you can submit them this way as well so if we just log in here you can see that you can then manage your apps so you can upload your apps you can upload your repos and your events you can upload lots of different things so you can click on apps you can add on images, the name, all sorts of different things. I won't go into a lot of things, but you can sort of tag them that work on certain systems and all that sort of stuff, what sort of file it is. Um, and it's really cool. So it's nice to think that there's now a streamlined way for developers who are working very hard on apps and applications and stuff for the Oculus Quest and the, even the Go that don't make it onto the official store, there's now an official process to get that in. So there'll be a sign in button and there's now a sign out button to get in there and sort of sort those out and add those onto the system. So I think the developer has said, for SideQuest has said that he'll just basically sort of check that the link works, that they're, you know, a sort of legitimate thing and then publish some sort of thing. So do submit it onto SideQuest if you haven't already. Let's make this a really impressive system with lots of great content on it. So get submitting them. And the last thing that was coming was uh, the sort of change to virtual desktop. So it's not in this version that I've got on my desktop at the moment, but as of this video going live, there should be a version that allows sort of feedback or haptic control of the controller. So as you know, if you play an Oculus Quest game on your Oculus Quest now, the controls themselves, they vibrate. But if you play Steam VR games or other games via your virtual desktop, which allows you to kind of play stuff off your PC, you'll now get that sort of vibration feedback. And it's also got some cool sort of emulation of the D-pad and the star burn. So I know a lot of people were getting stuck and weren't maybe now just kind of progress in certain games and apps and that sort of thing. So that's now in there, that's now sort of sorted. And if you've never done virtual desktop before, you do need to buy the official version on the Oculus Store first. It doesn't have the Steam VR support in there, but then if you sideload the SideQuest version, you'll then get that feature. So you get those extra updates, the extra feature at no additional cost, 
because you obviously just need the, the original one first and it kind of saves over it with the new version. And I'll leave links down below to a video all about the sort of virtual desktop and how it works with SteamVR, but it's very cool, works very well. All you literally do is your PC is capable of SteamVR games. All you gotta do is play them in the virtual desktop launch them and they should just start as VR games. Pretty cool. And the final update that's coming in the next few days to SideQuest will automatically sort of be added. You won't need to do anything with regards to updating it is the ability to auto update your app. So at the moment, if you connect your headset, you kind of need to go through, re sort of manually sort of upload any sort of new versions onto your headset. What it'll do is when you connect it, it can run a check. It can kind of say whether you've got certain things out of date. You can sort of choose to manually update them if you want to or click install all and it'll update all your out to date apps. So that's pretty cool. So as we get more and more content on SideQuest, that'll make it a lot easier. And I think we'll sort of ease the pain for some people that maybe you're unsure what version you've got, what version you've installed, all that sort of good stuff and sort of makes it nice and streamlined. So we can't argue with that. And big, big credit to all these people that are working on SideQuest. So Shane himself, who's working on SideQuest, massive thumbs up, mate. You're doing a great job. Keep up the great work. It's becoming such an, a, a vital platform for Quest and even Oculus Go owners to get the most out of their headset. So on the Quest in particular, we're sort of not seeing every single app that we'd like to see. And it's great to think that we've got now this platform that once you set it up, it's super easy to use. There's no kind of real risk to using it either. You know, it's just installed in sort of games and apps and experiences um, and it works great. You know, he's constantly sort of pushing it adding new features, adding new value, and making it an absolute must-have tool for your Oculus Quest, for your VR headset. And I've obviously got to thank all the people in sort of the modern community as well that are making all these Beat Sabers and walls and all that sort of stuff. You guys are doing a great job as well. It'd be great to kind of see now that this has now opened up a little bit easier for adding those officially, whether we'll see a lot more. And it's really exciting to kind of see this happening. Uh, and it's great to kind of see the communities behind it and supporting it. So yeah, big thumbs up to everyone. It's amazing. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below if you didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.